the reason the incarnation and the atonement are not credible to some people is that their disposition is unregenerated. A man may adopt the dogma of the incarnation and the atonement upon a basis of authority while his heart is unchanged, which results that sooner or later the accumulated pride of the unregenerated years will rise in revolt and secretly protest that it is credible. That was the case with the man to whom Jesus is speaking here, and in this case of hundreds who accept creeds but refuse to act on their belief. The consequence is they fling their creeds overboard and ignore the central test of Christianity, which is, Who is Jesus Christ to me? The atonement of our Lord never contradicts human reason. It contradicts the logic of human intellect that has never partaken of regeneration. The understanding of the atonement depends not on Bible study, not on praying, but on spiritual growth. As we grow up into Him in all things, we get moral understanding of the mystery of redemption and understand why Jesus said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The Spirit of God brings a man to the place where he begins to discern with his heart and not with his head. Jesus says we shall know that is discerned whether his teaching is of God or not, when we do what we know to be his will. We discern according to our disposition. There are moments in life when the little things matter more than anything else. Times when a critical situation depends upon the attitude of mind to another person. If a man is hesitating between obeying and not obeying God, the tiniest thing contrary to obedience is quite sufficient to swing the pendulum right away from the discernment of Jesus Christ and of God. If thou bring thy gift to the altar and thou rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, first be reconciled. This tempers of mind make all the difference in the discernment of Jesus Christ's teachings. Have I a distempered view about any man or woman on earth? If I have, there is a great deal of Jesus Christ's teaching I do not want to listen to. Then I shall never discern his teachings. Once we let me obey God, and I shall discern that I have no right to an attitude of mine to anyone other than his attitude. If I am determined to know the teachings of Jesus Christ at all costs, I must act on the intention that is stirred in me to do God's will, however humiliating he may be. And if I do, I shall discern.